What's going on guys? Today we're going to train a little Jeet Kune Do action. I'm here with my boy Kyle. We've been training hard together and we're going to show you the flower block. I always want to say flower sweep, but that's some grappling shit we don't have time to discuss today. But the flower block is really effective for the streets, so I'm thrilled to show you guys. Now, what we're going to do is Kyle's going to come at me with a straight on punch, right? I'm going to parry that shit out of the way. Now, when I parry it out of the way, it's really important to remember that I'm not just parrying it like this because if it happens to slip through ah, right in the jaw i'm done over and out so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to parry and move angle myself out of the way slightly as well after i do that i'm going to take this hand here i'm going to come underneath i'm forming like an x block you guys might be familiar with x blocks from knife fighting or knife defense right well this is kind of an upwards x block so he comes i parry i angle i throw off with an x block now it's important that when I parry this out of the way here, I maintain contact. Why? Because I want to feel, I want to maintain sensory acuity, to use a fancy word. I want to feel where his hand's going. Chances are on the street in a real environment, Kyle, throw that right. I come here and he pulls back. I want to know before my brain knows, my hand, my feeling, my kinesthetics will feel it before I know it consciously. So he comes, he pulls back. I know I have to go into something else. I can't stay with the stupid flower block, right? But let's just say for a second that he didn't. He throws, I block, I move, I come under. Now that I'm coming under, I'm going to use this, and I'm going to grab with a monkey grip, they call it, just like this, all right? Now, thumbs out, monkey grip, thumbs in, thumbs on. That's something different. We can use a monkey grip, or we can use this. Now, in the wintertime or in the fall, he's wearing a hoodie. He's wearing a jacket. It makes our job even easier, right? Because go ahead. I block, I move, I come, I grab. I can grab material, right? In a gi or in a jacket, I can grab, and I don't have to worry about what? Sweat, right? All these different things. Maybe he's just a slick guy and he pulls out. But, right, in the wintertime, I can grab that jacket. It makes my job 10 times easier. But what we have to train for is all environments, not one environment. So he comes, I maintain contact, I come under, I grab, I make sure I'm grabbing and I sweep down low onto the wrist because again, I'm up here, Kyle pull out, easy. I come down on the wrist, Kyle pull out, I feel it and it's, it's a lot stronger that way. So again, one, two, three, we grab. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna retract this to our neck and step and chop. What he's doing, notice what he's doing, okay? I come, I step, I chop, he's blocking. Now we can train this a number of ways, we can train it like a Three Stooges block, a Wing Chun style block, or the way Kyle likes to do it, more of an angled, angular or angled off block. This is strong, this is very strong. Kyle, go ahead and block like the angular block. I'm gonna come over the top. It's stable, it's strong, it's not gonna push back on his head too much. Now give me the Three Stooges right here. Bop! And I can still hit myself with me. I don't wanna hit me with me, I wanna make sure I'm blocking it, every piece of it, not some of it, right? This sucks, it's gonna make me flinch, and it's going to give me the disadvantage. This, it's strong, it's angled off, and my centrifugal force is heading this way rather than in. We want to make it move this way and not in. So again, we're going to do it at speed now, and we're going to do the flower block. So boom, 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 and he blocks. All right, we're going to do that twice more. We're going to do it at speed. One, two, three. Bah. Once more. Bah. All right, so that's a great drill. And what we've been doing for the past couple of minutes is back and forth, back and forth. Not only are we training on the offense, but we're training on the defense to block and what not to flinch. Because again, even uh, Miyamoto Masashi back in the day with the samurai code and stuff, he wrote about this. He who flinches is kind of like on his way out, on his way to death, right? So don't flinch, remain steadfast, remain steady. And the best way to train that is to get hit at and practice keeping your eyes open. What we like to do in MMA is Kyle like just lightly kind of hit me in the face, right? Right, and so we just practice getting used to not flinching. And it does, believe it or not, take practice, especially when you've got stuff coming at your face. So train those things, guys, and I hope you can comment down below and drive us up in the algorithm. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I'll see you in the next one, Mother Flowers.